Okay, I'm gonna show you 10 ways to earn paid use and 9 out of them is free. So stay tuned. My name is Kavita Sharma. I'm the author of Past PMP in 21 Day Study Guide, Past CAPM in 21 Day Study Guide and many other books. So if you um, have earned PMP or CAPM or ACP, PGMP, you need paid use to carry on with your uh, credential. Uh, typically the cycle is three years and you can earn PDUs and maintain your certification. Um, to give you an example, 60 PDUs are required for PMP and uh, this is how your, if you log into your dashboard, this is how your dashboard gonna look like. Uh, for PMP um, or for any other certification, the PDUs are divided into two things, education which means you read, inculcate more knowledge and giving back wherein you are sharing knowledge. Uh, sharing knowledge is optional. You can acquire maximum 25 PDUs. Education is must. You need to have 35 required PDUs. So there is a minimum requirement that you need to read. You need to acquire knowledge. And the combination of them gonna give you 60 PDUs and then you can go ahead and renew your certification. Um, as I told you, the PDUs are divided into education or giving back to profession. Uh, giving back to profession minimum is zero and maximum is 25. In education minimum is 35. You need to spend time to learn things. And maximum is 60 as per um, the certification. So here I'm talking about PMP certification. Maximum is 60 um, and minimum is 35. If I talk about CAPM, it's going to change. Minimum is 8 and maximum is 15. So let's understand what are, how can I earn PDUs by giving back to profession. Remember 25 PDUs? So I can work as a practitioner. I, when I am working as a project manager, I'm applying my knowledge every day and I'm learning new things. Um, so I apply and learn and I can claim, but I can't claim more than eight PDUs in this particular category. And in case my application comes under audit, I need to send PMI my proof of employment, job description, Maximum PDUs in this category is 25 PDUs under the broad category of giving back. Here working as a practitioner, 8 PDUs is the maximum PDUs you can claim. The second free way of getting the PDUs or claiming PDUs is write content. You can write a book, you can write a blog or article, all of this you can claim PDUs. One hour spent creating content equals to one PDUs. Um, you need to support that with publications, the material or the agendas. The third free way of getting the PDUs is um, you can give a presentation. You can speak at PMI chapter event, professional conference or within your organization. One hour of presentation equal to one PDU. If the supporting document is your copy of presentation, you need to submit that to PMI. By sharing knowledge, you again acquire PDUs. So if you are mentoring somebody or you are applying your S, you know, subject matter knowledge um, to solve something that's going to earn PDUs. So um, you can claim that supporting document requires your mentoring arrangement um, and discussion, etc. Anything which you did, the minutes of meeting should be kept to show that as an evidence. The last one, you can volunteer and gain PDUs. You can volunteer at PMI, you can volunteer at NGO, um, and then you can claim the PDUs one hour equal to one, in, one hour of volunteering, um, equal to one PDU. One hour of volunteering equal to one PDU. 
um, you need to show your volunteering arrangement, some kind of uh, minutes, etc. Now let's move to how can I earn PDUs by learning, by education. Now this one is uh, with money. You can always, um, you know, be part of instructor-led formal education courses or classes. Um, you can be part of online trainings and you can earn the PDUs. One hour of learning is one PDU. You need to show the certificate or the admission form if you are in college then that the college uh, even if you are in a management course does not earn you 35 PDUs or 60 PDUs what you need to do is you need to show the course details and then you can claim the PDUs the next free way of earning PDUs is organization meetings you can be part of PMI chapters third parties or any event like you know architect days or Moodle networking forum or some other forums you can earn PDUs um, the PDU rule is typically limited to one or two PDUs because you can't be spending more time there um, and you need to show the registration form letter of attendance etc you can also learn by getting yourself um, registered in online self-paced learning um, one hour of learning is one PDUs however whenever you are learning it should be part of that PMI triangle um, and you should meet the PMI triangle subjects if you come under audit the supporting document required are the notes, date of activities, date of enrollment, etc. A certificate would also work. You can also read and uh, attain knowledge and claim paid use. So you can read books, articles, white papers or blogs. Um, and one hour of learning is one paid use. However, that learning should equate to PMI talent triangle and you need to show as a supporting document what did you learn your book when did you buy it maybe some receipt and the date of reading the last one informal learning whenever you sit and discuss with people um, like brown bags or lunch and learn session this also acquires you PDUs. One hour learning equal to one PDU. Again, that learning is should be relevant to your profession. So check PMI talent triangle and the subjects. Uh, the supporting document required you to um, show notes, date of activities, etc. Minutes of meeting would also work. Um, if we talk about PMI triangle, the PMI triangle if, um, is changed and now it has three ways of or three subjects primarily. Um, so max, you need to acquire eight PDUs, minimum eight PDUs on the way of learning, of working, ways of working, which is technical um pdus you need to know know how your profession so this is know how building knowledge as a project manager um, example would be estimation training if you have went went for that is a know how uh, the second one is um, minimum eight pdus in power skills uh, you should know how to manage people you should know how to work with um, understand personalities, um, doing meeting, conducting meeting, all of those are power skills. Um, you need to have at least eight hours um, to grow your power skills and minimum eight hours in business acumen. Um, how do you, what is portfolio management? How do you ensure return on investment? And so on comes under business acumen. Uh, strategy portfolio these are the keywords for business acumen um, so out of PMI talent triangle you need to 
gain at least 8 here, 8 here and 8 here. Rest 11 can come from any of the subject on the relevant skill set. Um, so those are free ways. Um, one of the ways is if you want to earn 60 paid use in five minutes, you can buy a product called Happy Manager Series. It will give you a certificate which will help you just get uh, using a claim code. Um, if you put that claim code to PMI website at or CCR, you gonna get your 60 speed used directly by using that claim code so you can earn 6 speed, 60 speed use in 5 minutes if you want to know more you can go to kavitasharma.net and check the offering that's pretty much from me in case you have any question write in the comment section and have a very nice day thank you for listening in bye bye